Hi guys, so today I'm going to try to recreate a braided hairstyle which I saw on Georgia Horst's page and it's this beautiful braided style, I'll leave the picture up above here. So if you want to learn how to do it, just keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to take a section of hair and divide it into three and I'm just going to bring the outer strands under the middle strand to create a Dutch braid. Then I'm going to add some hair to the bottom strand and bring it under to the middle and then add some hair to the top strand and bring this under to the middle. Now I'm just going to repeat these steps again, add some hair to the bottom strand, I'm just going to pull out some hair here and bring it under to the middle and then add some hair to the top strand and bring this under to the middle. And I'm just going to keep repeating these steps until I reach the back of my head. I'm just going to change the position of my hands here so that I don't have any bumps when I add in my hair. So again add some hair to the top strand and bring it under to the middle and to the bottom strand and bring it under to the middle. Now that I've reached the back of my head, I'm only going to add hair to the top strand now. So I'm just going to add some hair here to the top strand, bring it under to the middle and don't add any hair to the bottom strand, just bring it under to the middle. So again, add some hair to the top strand, bring it under to the middle. Don't add any hair to the bottom strand and bring it under to the middle. And this is called a lace braid. I'm going to stop adding in hair when I get a little bit past halfway and I'm just going to finish my braid off or you could keep braiding but I'm just going to stop here and tie it off for the moment. And then I just went back and pancaked my braid a bit to make it a bit bigger and on the opposite side of Georgia's head I can't see in the picture what type of braid she has so I decided just to do a knot braid but you could do anything here. So I've just separated my hair into two pieces and I'm just going to tie a knot with them. Then I'm going to add some hair to the top strand and then add some hair to the bottom strand and again I'm just going to tie another knot. But you could do anything here, you could do a French braid or some twists or even just a regular three strand braid. Um, I'm going to I think do one or two more knots and then I'm going to just turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Next I'm going to hold the ends of my knotted braids in one hand and I'm going to pick up a section of hair. And I'm going to cross this over to the middle and separate my two knotted strands. So I have three strands and I'm just going to do a normal braided stitch. And now I'm going to add my braid into the right strand or the top strand and cross it over to the middle. And I'm going to just remove the elastic from my big braid. And then I'm going to kind of divide my braid in three. So I'm just going to kind of split it into the three strands so they're kind of even. And then I'm just going to do another braided stitch. So cross the bottom strand over the middle and then the top strand over the middle and keep it nice and tight. And now I'm going to just do a French braid for two or three stitches. So add some hair to the bottom strand and cross it over to the middle and to the top strand and cross it over to the middle. Again add some hair to the bottom strand, cross it over to the middle and then add some hair to the top strand and cross this over to the middle. Then I'm not going to add any more hair in, I'm just going to kind of finish my braid off and just tie it out of the way for the moment. Finally with my remaining hair I decided to do a rope braid so I'm going to divide my hair in half and cross the bottom strand over the top strand and then I'm going to add some hair to the bottom strand and cross it over to the top strand and just keep repeating these steps till you run out of hair. So just keep adding hair to the bottom strand and cross it over to the top strand. Then once I've added in all the hair my rope braid will be my third strand away from my face and I'm going to take the elastic out of my braid and split it in half. So now we have three strands so I'm going to bring my rope braid strand under to the middle first. And then I'm going to bring the strand closer to my face under to the middle and then we're just going to do a regular braid. Just keep bringing the three strands underneath each other. And here is my attempt at recreating this braided style. So I hope you like this tutorial guys and if you do as always don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe or press the little bell below so you don't miss any tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye guys and have a lovely day.